Bangkok is a fantastic city, and its red light districts are much better. For lone male visitors, a trip to a red light area in Bangkok is highly amusing. It can take some getting used to be scary to find your way around this metropolis. The purpose of this guide is to familiarize you with Bangkok's most popular neighborhoods and to provide you with a fair understanding of pub rates. It's also critical to understand that these places are entertainment hubs rather than conventional red light districts. In this way, it resembles Las Vegas considerably. You'll see that certain places, particularly Pat Pung, are populated with individuals, couples, and occasionally even families. Travelers of all stripes may be found in Bangkok's top three red light districts, which are thoughtfully designed with international visitors in mind. You'll notice that most foreign-oriented districts have a higher concentration of visitors from across the world than other parts of the city. Nana Plaza and Soy Cowboy are the two key sites to be aware of. Bangkok's red light districts are roughly 2.5 kilometers apart from one another from end to end. Every red light district is unique and has a distinct atmosphere. You will eventually learn how to enjoy yourself in each of them. Prices in Bangkok are slightly more than those in Pattaya for almost anything. These days, not by much, but still enough that some travelers would prefer to spend the majority of their vacation in Pattaya due to the cheaper costs. Simply be prepared for a little increase in the cost of lodging, meals, beverages, etc. in these locations. It's very common to meet lovely, amiable Thai women online these days in all Thai cities. A growing number of men are realizing that meeting women online can be more convenient than always going out, mingling, and doing things the old-fashioned way. Remember that many of the ladies would rather meet foreigners online than in person, so keep that in mind as well. There, you can meet ladies of different kinds and discover the right one for you. Booking hotels in Bangkok that welcome guests is another piece of advice. Booking accommodations close to red light areas is recommended. If you invite a buddy back to your room, these hotels don't charge you more. You will probably meet new people and want to hang out with them back at your hotel, so this can be helpful. Located in Sukhumvit Soy 4, Nana Plaza and the surrounding neighborhood is Bangkok's largest red light district. Nana Plaza has about 30 to 40 go-go clubs, beer bars, and other entertainment establishments. There are additional freelancers and beer establishments outside. One of Nana Plaza's unique features is its three-story height and central courtyard architecture, which houses more bars. Given that this is a popular tourist destination, expect to see a lot of Thai women there. You shouldn't be shocked to see some ladyboys as well, as they are widely welcomed in this community. The bars right outside of Nana Plaza are a terrific place to go for some fun during the day. In addition to nice meals and pool tables, you can frequently unwind and take in the views. Freelancers operate in and around Bangkok's three primary red light areas. Similar to Soy Cowboy, Nana Plaza may be easily accessed via the Sky Train system, BTS. After leaving the Nana station, it will take you about five minutes to walk northeast. You'll remember the name of Bangkok's next red light district, Soy Cowboy. Soy Cowboy is a 150 meter long, narrow side street with a lot of go-go clubs that is located between Souk Humvit Swa 23 and Azuk, approximately one kilometer from Nana Plaza. It is without a doubt among the best red light districts in the planet. The entire street is lit up with fluorescent and neon lights, so it's impossible to miss this spot. Furthermore, weekends can get hectic even during the off-peak season. Just outside this location on Souk Humvit Soy 23 are some lovely massage parlors. These girl hosts are so lovely. The cost of drinks used to be somewhat less here than it was at Nana, but now it's about the same. To be honest, the prices at Bangkok go-go bars don't seem to offer much value. They have the highest drink pricing in the entire city. Every night during the peak season is extremely busy. In general, Soy Cowboy might be Bangkok's greatest red light district. During the off-peak months, the rates are the same, but the crowds will be smaller. Certain individuals favor traveling during those months. Azuk Station is the BTS station you need to get off at to get here. It takes only a minute to walk here after leaving. With some of the top go-go clubs in all of Thailand, one could argue that Soy Cowboy is the best red light area in town.